Welcome to Open Source Productions, where we do everything open source, including the video editing. In today's video, we're going to be going over something a couple people have asked me to do on my WoW private server. Um, like I was talking in my last video, uh, WoW was not running on my private server, that is, was not running very good. I did manage to correct this, and today I'm going to be showing everyone exactly how to get World of Warcraft on the War Main server to run correctly on Ubuntu, and as we know, I'm using Ubuntu 16.04 LTS version for this. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we are going to open up our terminal and we're going to make sure we have Play on Linux installed. If you do then good job if you don't then you'll just need to do this right here these are the different uh, commands you will be putting into the terminal I will leave these in the description below so you can go ahead and put them in um, I don't need to do that because I already have play on Linux installed you can also download it from the software center as well the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make sure... No, I don't want to close that. I want to minimize it. I need that for description. <laughs> next thing we're going to make sure is we have our World of Warcraft. Um, like, for instance, I have dual loaded on here. So if I go to open a new tab here, if I go into my Windows files, where I know it's at, I hit Documents, not Downloads. Come on my games here's my world of warcraft file right there on my windows so now i know where the path is we're just going to take note of that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up play on linux and this is where the fun stuff comes on since there is not a setup.exe file play on linux doesn't like letting us put this in here but we still can put it in here. We just have to fool the system a bit. So what we're going to do is install a program, install a non-listed program, go to next. I really should hit don't remind me anymore on that. Next we're going to select install a new virtual drive and we're going to name this one WOW. You can name it whatever you want to name it. I'm just naming that so I can use it fine. Leave all of these unchecked select the 64 windows installation now wine prefix is going to go ahead and load and we're just going to wait a second here for that to cake it shouldn't take too very long and it's going to take us to the screen where it's going to ask us to browse for a file to install right here now we're going to go ahead and cancel that. We don't need to go any further. The only thing we needed was for it to create the virtual drive and that's going to be in the configure tab. Once we have that there, we are golden. Let's minimize that. We're going to go to our home folder. If you don't have that, you can just go to that. Go to files. Pull it up. And we're going to make sure we're in our home folder. This may be on your computer, it may not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it the original way I had to do it. You're gonna hit Control H, it's gonna show all hidden files. You're gonna go to .play on Linux, wine prefix, wow, or whatever you named it, drive C, program files. And we're gonna stick that to the side, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to open up where we had our World of Warcraft folder at. Mine was in Documents, Games, here. We're going to copy and we're going to paste. And this is going to take a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this is installing. I'm going to save you the torture of waiting, hearing me breathe. I'll be finished in just one second. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we need to do next. All right, so there, that took a total of about four minutes in total for that to copy over for me. The full 18 gigs. Power of a solid state drive, I tell you. 
So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to close these out and we're going to go back to our play on Linux and we're going to go to configure. Wow. Create a new shortcut from this virtual drive. And we see wow.exe. We're going to hit next, next. Wait for it to catch up on us. There we go. And now it's just got to do it. It did it in the background. It put it on our desktop right here. It loaded there. We're going to hit cancel. Now what I'm going to recommend for WoW 3.3.5, the recommended wine version is 1.6.2. So go to wine versions AMD 64 or x86 depending on what you want. And that was simple as clicking on general, going right there. Clicking on the Wine Virgin's AMD 64. If you are using Intel, go to the x86 architecture. And we're going to scroll down until we find the 1.6.2, which would be somewhere in here. It does not list it on mine because mine's already installed. You can also play around with different ones to see which one's the best. This just seems to work the best for me. The 1.9.7 staging may work better for you. It works better on, I believe, well, the x86 architecture one works better on the x86 architecture chips with Intel. This is what works best on AMD. And it works best on WoW normally. So make sure you try that one first. And once we have that selected, we're going to make sure it's in the drop down menu. Yes, we want to do it. And that should have changed the wine prefix to 1.6.2 version. Next thing we're going to do is go to the install components. We're going to click on DX or D3DX9 install. We're installing the DirectX DSDLLs. It's going to configure wine for DirectX 9 which is what World of Warcraft ran on then. And we're going to go to OpenGL on Direct Draw Rendering. And we are done here. Absolutely done. The next thing we need to do is now you should have in your files a play on virtual drives. We're going to go to our WTF folder, which we're going to go to Program Files, World of Warcraft, WTF, open the config.wtf now here is where it's going to depend on what works best for you if you are using an AMD GPU that is identified as the RV series you will not put that command the OpenGL in here it will make the gameplay terribly and that is due to the deprecation I discussed in my last video. You will exclude this if you are using the AMD that's recognized as an RV series. Everything else, which are these right here, you're just gonna copy that. Oh, gonna copy these and these will be in the description. Just paste these in. Save it with Control S. And I will put all of this in the description, like I said, make sure you do have WoW running on windowed mode. And you will need to play with your screen resolution to see what the best one for you is. I don't want to exit, I want to minimize. So, lag is going to be for real here. Because I'm recording. So, let's see what we're looking at. Alright, yeah, it's pretty laggy with the uh, screen recording. So I have mine set to 19 280 or 1080. I'm actually going to bring mine down to 720 just because it does ring be run better while it's recording. And we're going to go ahead and log in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Okay, and we're back and. I'm going to go ahead and log into my Death Knight.
And those of you looking at this uh, screen here, being small like this, it's not really that small on my monitor. It's actually quite usable. Yeah, I do got a little uh, screen recording. Anyway, give this your try, and I hope it works perfect for you. You guys have a wonderful day. Subscribe. Peace out.